I think we all carry a certain language in our bodies. My works often work with a kind of a special language, whether it's in the form of um, topography or topography or landscape or geographic reference. Quite often I talk about fissures or erratics or kind of movements that we find on the surface of our earth. It's not so much about the one point and we look from that point and we see that. There's always a kind of a jumping to a next position or a next place for the eye to rest. I've been preoccupied with mark making for many, many years and find myself working with paint and have an object and surface interest. I think one can say that I found myself walking, walking the path of abstraction over the last few years. I've worked very specifically with the veil, but instead of sort of like showing what I see through the veil, I'm interested in actually looking at the veil itself, because that is it's, it's, it's a kind of a grid that we use as a viewfinder. I think as an artist, it's not so much only about making mark, but activating a way of looking so that I can look at my, my, my space around me and read it. And reading and looking has always to me been absolutely connected in the same way that writing and painting is connected and that's maybe mark making that it's not so much about the one opposed to the other but that point where things kind of reach a middle place and emerge um, and we are actively engaged with where we find ourselves. <laughs>